Hi, I'm blacksmithing with the Bodgers today and it's very, very cold. So actually blacksmithing is quite a nice thing to be doing. Uh, hence the, the hat and all the rig up here to we'll try and keep warm. So going to be probably making a few different things, the usual sort of pokers. Uh, I think someone's going to be making some handles for a box. And there will also be a bit of work on heavy duty ads making, so making some nice adses as well. So we've got the usual gang here and we're having great fun. I'll give you a flavour, I'll show you a few of the anvils and a bit of kit. Quite a few gas forges being used now and I'll talk a bit about those. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. Well, we had a lovely setting and there was a good turnout as well. We were lucky because there was a bit of rain initially and then it eased off quite a bit. And what was quite sort of interesting this time, a few obviously of the old traditional forges, that's actually my old forge. Uh, now in new ownership, but working very well. Quite a few people also had the new gas forges. And these obviously, they're really good from the point of view. They're portable, it's easy to get the things up to heat. You don't have to still concentrate quite so much on controlling your, your fire. And they're, you know, quick to transport around, run on gas. So not too expensive in the UK to run. They make a lot of noise, which I have to say I'm personally not so keen on, but I can see that they're very good and they are certainly very popular. One being used here for um, bowl turning hooks. So various tools were being made. There's one of the bowl turning hooks and they're being done jolly well. These ones, I mean, some of them are single burner, some were two burner. And what was quite interesting with the two burner ones, there's a tap, that yellow thing I'm pointing to there so you can turn it and then you just have one burner working if you want to do something smaller and obviously you save quite a bit of gas. We had the usual bodger tool sale going on so someone had very kindly donated quite a large collection of tools and we raised money either for our bodger activities or for charity and it was very good to have this selection to pick off a few little goodies and I think we all enjoyed having a look at those. People, of course, came along with their own sets of tools. Now, this is a single burner forge, which I used to show some children how to make some little hooks. And it was a very nice little rig up, actually, very portable, very cheap to buy. So it is a cheap way of entering into blacksmithing. And these people are making bowl turning hooks, some of them using car springs and also a pair of tongs. And this one, you can see it's been lined with far clay as well which seemed a very sensible idea to actually make it last longer and not have the sort of fiber coming out now this one is one running on charcoal and it has a car blower unit works very well little inverter and they were making a very nice i think that was a poker very nice little handle there some of the scrap metal that we've been using so we basically keep our eyes open for any good scrap and then we can you know, repurpose it, remake it into something rather nice. And here's the inverter that's running that forge with the car fan. Quite a primitive setup, but it's been going for years, this one, and it works really well. Some very nice anvils. This is a lovely Brooks. Reminds me of the Brooks one I had. I have again sold my anvil. I've been clearing off quite a few tools. That is a um, swage block for doing adzes, a special correctly angled one, and it gives you a perfect ad shape. And there were some people making adzes and doing a very nice job of it as well. And very useful if you want to hollow out some chair seats or do any work like that. We had a lovely lunch, a nice bit of soup, which seemed to go very quickly, but our host is always very good and had done a lovely big thing of soup. So certainly on a cold day, it warmed us all up. I brought a few old motors along which found new homes, which was quite useful. And we all really just had a really nice social time, messing around, chatting, watching what others are doing. So that's a poker. And this, I believe, was a fairly, if not a first attempt, fairly early attempt. And I thought it was really nice, really good. It felt comfortable. Here are the ads is coming out. So as I say, the beauty of these gas forges, if you're doing something like an ads head, it fits in there. You can heat it up quick. Obviously, you won't get the corner of a five bar gate in one of those gas forges, whereas you will on the Coke ones. But no, very efficient, and I can certainly see why they're you know, becoming more and more popular. 
and it's good seeing this adds it came out very well in the end this one here it is getting the nice double curve compound curve at just the right sort of angle using that little guide and i have posted a film actually on this magic ads making somewhere in the blacksmithing playlist if you want to have a look so you'll find a, there's a film and all of that and how i did it myself a fair while back that's a door knocker doesn't look like it at the moment but it will be and it was looking very promising and i think this is another bowl turning hook for turning wooden bowls on a foot pad lathe well we had a great time and i must say that soup at lunchtime was really heartwarming so hope you enjoyed seeing around the bodgers with the blacksmithing and thanks very much for coming along see you in the next film bye from a cold kent <laughs> bye bye